Hello to you all dear guys, hope you're doing very well. Today we are going to make a very beautiful bracelet or bangle with wire. All we need of course is our wire of about 0.8 millimeter in diameter and also 0.4 or 0.5 for the weaving parts. Our main tools, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers and wire cutter and a piece of yarn or cord to wrap all around your wrist and also a ruler to know about the length of the size that you are making this piece for. First, pick up your yarn or cord and wrap it all around your wrist. And this would be the size that you are going to make a wire pieces and then we could put it on the ruler to know about the length and it's about 16 centimeters. With your 0.8 wire and your round nose pliers, make the main structure and we are going to make the golden V shapes that we had in previous videos. The process is to make a P-shape with your round nose pliers, just like this, and then two or three millimeters below that shape, make a bend, and then again in front of that P-shape put your round nose pliers and make another loop and put it in the way that you would have something like a heart shape or a golden V I named this kind of shape these two lines should be parallel to each other and again we need to make another bend and Put your round nose pliers at the other side to make another loop. You could push it a little so that these two loops would be closer. And we repeat this process for the length that we desire. When you had weaved these patterns, with your wire on the desired length this is the time to cut the wire out at the end and pay attention to close this shape and a complete circle and push it inside your last circle so that there wouldn't be any sharp edges left if you are going to make that as a bracelet and you're going to add a jump ring and a clasp at the end you should weave these parts all around your wrist and at the size that you determined as the whole size and the length of your wrist but if you're going to make it as a cuff bracelet it's not necessary to do that completely that could be open at about one third of your whole wrist size. We need two of these weaving parts and we are going to attach these two parts together with a thinner wire of about 0.4 or 0.5. So pick up your thinner wire, put this row in front of each other and insert the thinner wire into the first loop and then with your round nose pliers bend it and insert it into the other front loop and pull it and repeat that again for the other loop that is just side to side to the first one and continue pushing this wire and wrapping it so that you would have a, a little joint here 
and we continue that at least for two or three times to have that little beautiful joint here. We cut this thinner wire in about 25 centimeters to continue weaving all around the shape and we continue doing that with inserting the thinner wire into next loop and front loop we are just doing that like when we are sewing and here we could make another little wire coil by inserting the thinner wire again to the front loop and continue doing that or just insert it to the next loop just like this and we are going to continue that till the end when you are at the middle of sewing and wrapping the thinner wire it may happen that these two loops are not completely and exactly in front of each other no worries just push it a little and squeeze the front part so that they would be in front of each other and then continue wrapping the wire when you have finished weaving all this length and attaching these two parts together this is the time to make it rounded and wrap it all around a cylindrical shape like a glass mine is about five centimeters in diameter and I'm going to wrap this all around it and to shape this a little and then at that diameter I'm going to wrap that with my fingers to have something like this and I could put it on my wrist and this would be a cuff bracelet you could add a chain here to fasten it up or simply continue making this pattern all around to keep it tight. If you need more tips on how to attach these two parts together with clasp and chain, please comment it below for me to add a tutorial on how to attach these two parts together with a clasp. And here, there is a point. As you can see, there is a difference in color of these two pieces. This is one of the rings that I had made about three, four months ago. And as you can see, it had changed its color at this part. And the point that you should consider is that all kinds of warriors no matter silver, gold, or copper, or brass, all kinds of wire change their colors gradually. And this is not a change of the wire and the material, but it's a thin oxidization on the surface. And you could just simply remove that. One of the ways is to use little amount of lemon juice and salt and then put it on the surface that you desire to remove that thin layer of oxidization and then rub it with a piece of napkin and this would be shiny and you could compare these two parts together and also for the other parts 
Now we could see and compare these two half and this is more shiny and you could continue this to the other side. Hope you had enjoyed this tutorial and make this very beautiful cuff bracelet or simply a bracelet. If you need a help to make the clasp for this bracelet, don't forget to comment for me. Love you so much. Take care and bye-bye.